my collage is about the disorder of iron metabolism. The iron that you can see in the bottom of the collage is either the available iron or excess iron of the patient. Since this anemia has something to do with impaired iron metabolism, then it causes formation of these ring sideroblasts rather than healthy red cells. The formation of ring sideroblast is due to failure of the body to incorporate the iron into the hemoglobin. Now, this anemia is sideroblastic anemia. The collage is actually divided into four parts. The upper left part is about its etiology. There are two main causes. It can be hereditary or acquired. Okay, In the hereditary, of course, uh, it has something to do with the genes of the patient. Okay, For the acquired, it can be idiopathic, so there is no known cause or unknown yung kanyang cause, or it can be acquired due to another underlying disease or due to drugs, medication of certain treatment, and alcohol. Now, the upper right is about its diagnostic feature, which is primarily the presence of the ring sideroblast in bone marrow aspirate. So, the one that is embossed there, yung kanyang ring sideroblast, you can actually see blue stains, yun siya yung sideroblast of uh, developing red blood cell. The lower left is about the pathophysiology. What happens so that, what happens in the patient that it can have sideroblast? sideroblast in its bone marrow. <clears throat> and the lower right is about its diagnostic confirmation. This test would include complete blood count, bone marrow smear, okay, in Prussian blue stain. Prussian blue is very important. Serum iron, so that we can check the availability of a serum from the patient and the total iron binding capacity. <clears throat> Most of the treatment, if anemia is severe, Transfusion is advised. However, based on the severity of the anemia, it depends on uh, the given. It depends on the underlying disease na kailangan mo na i-treat yung underlying disease prior to sideroblastic anemia.